I don't really know. But, uh, not this song in particular. So, this is Say, say You, Say Me. So, there's something about these particular looks of this song that really stick on my mind and not in a great way, so... Um... So, okay, so it's Say you, say me Say for always That's the way it should be Say you, say me Say together Naturally So, it starts with this very lit, m Low to mid-tempo You know, instrumentation So, yeah, obviously This is just, you know very a very blunt way of just declaring a statement of saying that we're dedicated to this relationship you know that we just did you know we're in this together you know so you say it together you you say it out loud you know not necessarily leaving for much room for quiet reflection of thought or introspection just you know saying it out and there's definitely i guess a very pop sensibility to that you know you know, you be blunt directly, you know, I guess, but I don't know, say you, say me, is those like, it's just like, the blandest way of putting it this way, the blandest way of like, talking, I guess, now, this first first though, I want you to keep in mind, what I said about this cause, we're gonna apply this throughout the entire song, So, what is this? Well, well, obviously, the about section gives us nothing because it's literally so. Okay, first one. I had a dream. I had an awesome dream. People in the park playing games in the dark, and what they played was a masquerade. And from behind of walls of doubt, a voice was crying out. So, do, do you have... Okay, I have not the faintest clue of what exactly this is about. Does anyone have any clue? No? Okay. So... How, how do we contemplate this? I don't know. So, I had a dream. I had an awesome dream. So, okay. I guess... Uh, I guess this is from, you know, the guy's perspective. People in the park blink... Well, obviously, the entire... Obviously, the entire this is from Lionel Richie or the narrator's perspective, you know, this... Well, this Lionel Richie is speaking from the voice of a narrator, so somebody, and in, in, a person of the male in the relationship, you know. This day, I had a dream. People in the park playing games in the dark. So... And what they played was a masquerade. I... Okay, okay. This verse in isolation is like... One of the strangest things I've heard. 
is was probably a, so strange in the context. So strange. It was like it comes directly after the chorus. I was like thrown off. People in the park playing games in the dark. And what they play a voice was crying out. So I guess he had a nightmare. Not very much an awesome dream. Well, it was an interesting dream. I guess he was the narrator. So we had playing games in the dark. Were they playing? What were they playing? Were they playing Jackbox? Um, snakes and ladders. Um, truth or dare? I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> so what they play? I guess the games that it, uh, well, okay, I don't know. I guess in China, the people in the park. But why the park? I mean, games in the dark. It, it doesn't matter where you add. I, I don't think it matters where the specific place is, except that it is dark, in fact. Because I don't think the setting has any effect on anything that the narrator said in the chorus. Because, like, what 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 is the part that to do? <laughs> Play, playing games in the dark, you could play in... It'd be dark anywhere. So, I guess it's just needed for a rhyme, park and dark, okay? So, a masquerade. So, I guess... Games of love, I... Well, yeah, that's usually, I guess. So, it's like... But... It's all, like, so... But... It's, like, so vague about it. Because, like, you... Why would you play... How... How would you... How would people be playing? Were they, like... Unsure about their definite status as a couple or something? Was a masquerade. So... What they played... Oh, so the game they're playing is a masquerade, which I'm not sure was it. I'm not sure was is a game, perhaps. Maybe there is. I don't know. Oh, no, no, there's a game called Ma- Oh, no, there's a game called Masquerade. Masquerade is a card game where pa players battle each other. No, no, no. Masquerade- Okay, what is this? Masquerade is a card game where players battle each other to either murder the king or protect them. The deck is comprised of six. Okay, I don't think that's what he's talking about. I I don't think that's what he means when he plays a board game, which either means that the item, which is not a game, perhaps, but <laughs> whatever. I don't know. Is it a game, perhaps? I don't know. Is it a game, perhaps? I don't know. And from behind one. So, I guess, obviously, a masquerade, you know, you have mask on, and you, and you hide under a shadow. But, um... But if it's just... But, they're not hiding, well, I guess they hide, but they're just in a say it. So they're not necessarily hiding it, it's just... Declaring an hour. I don't think it necessarily. I don't think it's necessarily in hiding as so much as it's like. Well, I guess it's in hiding. Well, I guess it's a masquerade as so much as you could just pull it off. It's just. There's somebody is bare. So, I'm not sure if that. You know, tearing that. Tearing that comfort privacy would be. Com that comfort, you know. Team would be interesting. And from behind, and from behind walls of doubt, a voice was crying out. So, I guess the truth. I guess this would be. 
the truth will set you free. You know, I, I guess. I don't know. Voice is crying out. No, same from this masquerade, which doesn't necessarily mean anything. In, in fact, okay, I feel like this on its own never feels like never feels like it's considerably developed beyond just this broad set. This is broad <laughs> restatement of committed to a rape being committed to a relationship because it just because um, it just feels gobble it's just it's just this it's just a name because like it nothing it doesn't mean anything in the riches it means something in the song but it doesn't reach out to you in any way you masquerade you could put this in any single verse uh, you could just replace this with, uh, you're not telling me what you are telling, you're not telling me what you really are, and it would have the same effect, which would be none. So, yeah. So, let's move on to verse 2. As we go down life's loathsome highway. Okay. Seems the hardest thing to do is to find a friend or two, a helping hand, someone who understands. Then when you feel you've lost your way, you got someone there to say, I'll show you. Well, this is just straightforward. Well, this is just taking any any sort of artistic intent now. Just go down life's loathsome highway. As someone who understands you lost your way, I'll show you. Yeah. Yeah. Sure is. Sure is. Can I just can I just say that this is a soundtrack in the movie called White Knights? I don't I ain't never you know the music video actually contained this? I'm not sure what, what is it? This is a soundtrack to the nineteen eighty five spy thriller about the friendship between a Soviet dancer trying to defect to the West and an American dancer who is defected to the Soviet Union. So, the interesting thing in the actual song is like it turns in, it starts ramping it into like a synth banger, I guess it tries, or at least it tries. There's absolutely nothing to it. There's absolutely no there's no build up, it's just like, well, there's like so build up, but it's like so abrupt that you, it kind of catches you sort of off guard. If it didn't also feel like it is like ha <laughs> slapdash, so so you think you know the answers? Oh no, because the whole world has got you dancing. That's right. I'm telling you, it's time to start believing. Oh yes, believing who you are. You are a shining star. And then you just reverse back to the original. So, well, okay, this has to do with the dancing. Okay, so this has to do with the movie, so I don't, I don't really, so I guess nothing at that cost. Me and the only dance, it's time to stop believing, a shining star. Wait, what does that have to do with the rest? 
do with to do with the rest? What what does it have to do with the rest of the song? Cause like it's time to start believing. Oh yes, believing who you are. You are a shining star. Say you say me. Say you for wait. I feel like this is just like a completely different because it reminded that was a soundtrack single to a movie about a dancer. So I guess you are a shining star. I guess. So I don't. I. Well, I'm not. I'm not sure. Maybe. So you think you know the answers? So I guess I guess it could work. I guess in that commitments to a least. But like, you could squint at it. Actually, you could squint and maybe 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 see. You could do it. I don't know. If we, they, they know how to go about it, but they don't. He doesn't, and I don't think he, he she. But like, it's not really that. It's just. I just forgot it was a soundtrack set. You're a shining star. What what did that comedians have to do with, with were they the shiny? Were they also a dancer? I don't know. All I know is that this song is complete you know, garbage. <laughs>